We now perform the disconnection procedure of the PDTD measurement setup of an HVA68 and a PDTD60. Before you start measuring, make sure that you comply with the safety regulations in force in your specific country and that you have familiarized yourself with the operating instructions and the safety instruction of the devices in this configuration. Also become familiar with your measuring environment and always observe the following points. Switch off the device on the test, secure against re-energizing, discharge and proof dead, ground and short circuit and cover and close off nearby life parts. We disconnect the far end accordingly. In the first step we perform the following points. We switch off the units. First we press the HVA emergency off button. Then the HVA main switch. Afterwards, we lock the HVA in a disabled state to prevent against unauthorized use. For that, we turn the key switch to the off position. And we remove the key. Before we switch off the PD unit, we discharge and earth the DUT. Then we turn off the PD main switch and afterwards the TD main switch. During the second step we disconnect the power supply cables from the power supply plug. We disconnect the power supply cable from the HVA. Then we disconnect the power supply cable from the PD2CC if the mains is connected. Then in the third step we disconnect the communication ports. First we disconnect the USB cable between the PC and the PD2CC. Then we disconnect the optoconverter between the PC and the HVA. In step 4 we disconnect the test lead. We disconnect the test lead between the HVA and the PD2CC. We also disconnect the HV cable between the filter and the PD2CC. Then we disconnect the cable between the PD2CC and the DUT. In the final step we disconnect all earth cables. First disconnect the HV earthing cable. Then disconnect the earthing cable between the filter and the PD2CC. and the PD2CC and the ground.
And finally, we disconnect the earthing cable from the DUT. We disconnect the far end accordingly. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like more information about B2 and our products, please visit our website. And if you have any technical queries about your B2 device, please contact our technical support at support at b2hv.com.